Today is January third, and we're reading what the world is like. In the darkness, beneath the hat, the wind elf began to whine. Just when I had decided what I wanted to do, I can't do anything any more. Now I know what I want to be. I shall be a great explorer. He wanted to cry. Like anything, but after a while, a little crack of light appeared at the bottom of the hat. That was little Julie, peeking curiously inside. She got a good look at the elf for the first time. He looked like a big butterfly with reddish yellow leaf on his head. His dark cloak was lined with silver moonbeams that shone more beautifully than anything Julie had ever seen. If you give me a piece of your, a little piece of your cloak, she said, I will let you go. The little sky traveler was not too sure if he was supposed to give away bits of his magic cloak, but in the end he agreed. All right then, but only the teeniest piece. Julie touched a corner of the silver cloak, and some of the silver rubbed off on her finger, and that was enough for her. She gave the elf some bits of colored paper. In return, he hung them on one half of his cloak. How marvelous the world is! He called out, and off he flew. Hope to see you tomorrow to hear what other adventures the wind elf has. Good night.